Hi, everyone. I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. Good morning. I know it's early for some people some places, and it's a good time for me because I have good bandwidth at this time of day. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and talk about us being creators. We are, it's a, we are amazing vehicles of thought, energy, mind creation. The movie The Secret taught us about this, and... I'm just wondering how you are all doing with this because we have like this amazing wave of news coming in right now. It's news that's disclosure news, news that is telling us about all kinds of crazy things that have been going on on planet Earth um, that include everything from um, all of the ancient corruption within governments, within systems, within human trafficking, within why people don't have enough, with why the monetary system is has so many people poor and some and some well off. We have so many imbalances in the world. And even with the COVID-19, we have maybe some corruption as far as numbers and how they're being reported. And this desire of some factions to have everyone vaccinated and us really needing to claim our freedom for this, to claim our freedom for, um, and to stand up for our truth and our, um, the right to be free beings. So this is the great awakening of humanity. This is a, a time of great awakening. What I talk about in my book is this is the great shift of the ages. So in this shift of the ages, we are being challenged. All of us who are here came to be part of this great change. And it's challenging. You know, it's like being in that, being the person in the circle where part of the circle is going one direction and part of the circle is going the other direction. And we have to find the balance and how to express that balance. This morning on my Facebook, I posted a really neat post of a young Marine speaking up, taking the megaphone at a rally in front of the Colorado or California governor's office. And in that rally, he speaks up to the police who are there and he says, are you listening to your gut? Are you really protect, protecting freedom? Or are you standing up against people who are expressing the, their constitutional rights to speak up about their lives. And um, it was interesting because somebody wrote under, under that post on my, uh, on my Facebook, um, just check it out. Did the police really break up? And what, what I wanna say here that's so important is it's that this young man took the megaphone and he spoke. He spoke clearly, he spoke truly, he spoke kindly. And he just encouraged everyone to, to listen to their hearts, to wonder, to think about what they're going to go home and say to their children, to notice if they're really protecting freedom or if they're just following orders in order to get a paycheck when a lot of people in the crowd didn't even have a paycheck. So in, in light of all these things happening, how do we look at one another and see, how do we, how do we choose as my husband is fond of saying, how do we choose our timeline? Choose the timeline that we would like to call into being. If we're being critical or we're listening to the negative news and we're seeing it as negative, we are living in a programmed creation. We are continuing to extend a false creation that we don't even really wanna live in. So if we'd like to live in a world that is founded in love, where there is enough for everyone, where our freedoms are protected, where our voice, our opportunity to be creative, to earn as we wish, or to not, to not have to work so hard and have other ways to be creative in this world. There's so much that humanity can come forward with. For now, we've been living in a system that has been siphoning things off for the few at the top of the spectrum, at the head of corporations, corporations which have been running governments, and it's time for that to change. And what's really exciting about this time when everything is shut down is many people are getting to think this great awakening is going on. Those who have been holding frequencies inside themselves of love and change are still, that, that 
basis is helping spread new thought in our world right now. And people all over the world are waking up, multi-millions. Why does a child die every 15 seconds of a waterborne illness? Because there's really enough here for all of us and we need to learn better ways to share and balance things out. When I look at the imbalances, I say, can I correct those imbalances? Well, not alone. All of us together can, all of us together. If each one of us lives according to what is in our heart, our greatest joy, our greatest creativity, we literally become that change. And with 7 billion people on the planet, if everyone, we can find the opportunity in this great, this great event that's going on right now where there has been silence, where people have gone into their homes and put masks on, which is kind of a shaming of the human presence, where they've gone into their homes and hidden away from each other. Social distancing. I mean, our greatest need as humanity is one another, is community, is love. And it's important that we restore those things for ourselves, for our families, for our friends, for our communities, and that we're here with each other. So I just want to remind you all to breathe, smile, and love, and stand up for what you know is right. In a, it, it can be in a calm, quiet way, but live for what you know is true. Don't be a sheeple. Don't just follow the herd. Put the TV in the corner or those that news media that wants to program us. It's still probably the most insidious thing in our culture, trying to keep a certain story going. And it's really important that we start writing our own story. This is what it's about, being a creator, being filled with a joyful creation in our hearts that we begin writing our own story. And we know what that is. And we do it with our friends and our families and our neighbors. So I call upon all of us today. I'm so excited that we're here together. And I'm really excited on Saturday morning, which, uh, which will be around seven my time, which is central time, I will be interviewing Sacha Stone. And he and I will have a great conversation about how this is the great reveal. That is what apocalypse means. It is the great reveal. So Saturday morning, it'll be seven o'clock central time, which I know is really early for some of you, but it's a time I have good bandwidth with and it's a time that our um, our time zones could match up so anyway much love to all of you I see a few people popping up Melissa hi I see you there and um, I shall see you all soon please share this pass it around and I will be doing more of these on a regular basis I've been working really hard behind the scenes I mean those of us who are creating something behind the scenes. Many of us are doing it with very few resources and we just keep going every day, grateful for people that show up in our lives to help us. And um, so I'm in the middle of producing some really good things for you guys. My website really actually just got up this week. I have, still have some, a few little things to tie together in there. So um, anyway, I look forward to seeing you all soon and I will jump on here again tomorrow and we'll see you then and Saturday morning with Sacha. Okay. Much love, many blessings to all. Breathe, smile, and love, and laugh. <laughs>